Okay, since <clears throat> I only have one hand to record, I open the box. But let's see if I can do this without falling off the seat. I've got two. Because it was the um, buy two, get 10% off, 15% off for Amazon. So here is the times two UV resistant resin by J Addiction. So since I was running out, because <clears throat> since I got the uh, J Addiction and the Stephen Fogg uh, resin kit, I've um, I started on that, so as you saw in my last clip, I uh, did this, but um, I was, I think I was thinking more along the lines of alcohol inks, but I used pigment, so I wasn't thinking properly, so it's more, uh, it's still sticky on the top, because like, I don't know, the ink kind of stayed on top or something, so I'll do another thin layer to seal it all in. But I can, as I said, I am running low. <clears throat> so that much left. Because I used quite a bit. Oh, and um, if you're wondering, I keep my UV resin in my little doggy tin. Oh, that was cute. I got in the, got in the subscription box. Anyway. <clears throat> so, like... Actually, I don't know if I showed, I, I did some things, so I had a rose mold and I can open this, see, oh, probably should have opened it maybe. I did some roses yeah. and uh, some soft flowers and there's a heart. I don't want to stick them, but uh, Well, that does look pretty nice on its own. But I did not stick them together, so I have to undo that or something. But anyway, I'll mix up a thin sheet. Oh, should I do UV resin? That would be faster to cure, wouldn't it? And then I can continue making the next side of this because I still have to do seven or so shelves. I might not do all seven depending how you know tall or small my mini figures are. But we'll see. Um so I'm gonna do that. And I don't have my tripod in here. And I use my phone for timing my mixing and stuff by just playing a song that's like four minutes or something. And you know just it is also boring just in making in silence, you know, so I'll do that, and I'll do, do another clip or something of the demold or something like that, but anyway, so, <clears throat> I also, um, for this, I also, um, <clears throat> got my, uh, sister to, uh, use her account to buy it for me because she has Amazon Prime and not me. So the retail price would be like $39.99 or so, but the Amazon price is <clears throat> $27.99 for this one. No, $22.99. The $27.99 was the times three UV resistant one. Um, so yeah. The wear respiration, if ventilation is poor, you should probably wear respiration anyway. But yeah. That's it. So, okay, so I wanted to try out um, 
making the uh, shelf thing. <coughs> Excuse me. That I bought from the Sophie and Toffee. So um, as you see, I already did that. I uh, <laughs> makeshift because I didn't want to get any dust in it and I didn't have big enough covers. So. Um, so, I wasn't sure if I was supposed to, like, cover those bits or not. I mean, it might, might not. If not, then I can get an X-Acto knife and just cut off bits that, uh, definitely, um, over. It doesn't look pretty good though, I think. But I don't think it, I'm not sure if it's actually finished curing, even though it is, has been 24 hours, well more than 24 hours. So I thought I'd try and use my ink that I got Christmas. Yeah, that. Yeah, that's not done yet. I don't think it's not completely. I think it's still feeling a bit. Yeah. I probably have to maybe go over it in a layer, maybe at the end, but. That's definitely not finished. See, it's a bit in the thinker. So I'll leave it for another couple days just to make sure, I guess. So I shall put uh, these back. Where I left them. makeshift type of thing. Just don't want all the uh, dust or anything to get in there. do a clip on the finished blocks because I still need to make the actual shelf parts and the other one of these. Probably will look exactly the same, obviously, but um, it'll be something. So hopefully it'll be in this next clip. Okay, so it's demolding time. So I finished off this because um, I did a bit and then I had to top it up and I think it is on a slant because some of this should not have a uh, deep gap. But anyway, so I did the other one, which admittedly did not quite I mean, it looks pretty enough on that side, but uh, it does have some not quite properly fitting in it. It's slightly still bendy, but it's warped. So I probably have to do this again. But if I don't, and the uh, shelves fit, then yay. But most likely I'll have to do it again. So just keep it off to the side for now. So, I guess I'll uh, demold this first, maybe. I mean, it's still slightly thin. 
Let's go to that kind of thing on it, since technically soon after I uh, put like the day after I uh, took a shower. So I think he said something about shouldn't have excess moist in the atmosphere when this is curing. So I might have did a slight mistake, but like, if you see, it's not supposed to be unlevel, because I think it was more slanted than I thought. But anyway, it is We'll leave it, actually leave it inside, but, but basically it's clear. Maybe a slight blue tinge, but mainly clear because I couldn't be bothered to color the resin. So wait, hopefully it will not be still bendy. I mean, this is like a day and a half or two days later. And yes, kind of left it out there, not covering it, so it might have bits in it. <laughs> so, I'll just leave it there to fully harden. Because, like, it does feel hard to set it. But I don't really want it to bend at all. So we'll see. Depends how I mix the resin, I guess. So, onto this bit. Um, I just had to get dry, so that's fine. As you can tell, I use microwave covers. <laughs> Why not, right? Um, so for this, I, I did this a while ago, obviously. But I uh, wanted to resin the uh, bits on the inside so nothing gets in it so it's nice and smooth i tried to pop most of the bubbles but i didn't get to all of them see and since it is an underwater scene you know i don't mind too much at least when the bubbles are down there they're always supposed to be in the sky area but anyway Still looks pretty cool though. So this is finished. So I can like you know put stuff on it. Because my other one, my first attempt, is not in silk dish over there. So, I mean, I could act as a soap dish over here, but I don't want to bother with this bathroom. But I mean, it is a trinket tray, technically. And it is not bendy, which is good. Um, so, it is a tray, so I could put things in it, like, you know. You know, stuff. So, as um, I did a uh, 100 and 100 at A and B, so I filled this first, I think, or I filled that first, but then I got extra, so as you can see, there is a lot of extra overflow in places. So I guess this one first, I added the color last. Because, yeah. Anyway, so. Anyway, it is cool. That is cool, anyway. All the swirly. Mm. 
one more. I wanted to, I could fill in bits on that side. And these bits, and do another coat over the back, and maybe put a picture there or something. You know. Oh, I thought that was pretty cool. It's nice and smooth. Rarely any, uh, not much bubbles, which is very nice for a change. Yeah, that's it. So that's that. Now for a soccer or cherry blossom. It's very cool. It looks like ice, doesn't it? it? Looks like ice frosted. Very nice. So that's this one. Is that one? There's a lot of overpour, if you can see. And this one. I'll have to get a knife or something to cut it off. But so that's that. I like putting it upside down so less of it get dusty. So here we have rose. I didn't color any of them, but quite a few bubbles in some of these, though. I think. So still. Easy to and we have big three here. I'd love to see about getting some other rose molds that are more death defining rose shapes than these ones. Because this is from like Sky View, not really Side View. So it's not as obvious, I guess you could say. But still here, still pretty. So I guess now is the time to do that a little didn't really cut it very well. Or ripping it, I mean. Well, let's see, these scissors are very bad, but let's see if they work. I wouldn't. Ah, that's good.
anyway. Oh yeah. Distract myself by cutting off excess bits because like I'm easily distracted. Yeah. <laughs> Should I know by now? Um I think that was it for this video. There wasn't anything else to say really. Yeah, exactly. That's probably better. Very small and excess bit. Just trying to cut off. Like the exact looking crannies of that, but though technically yes, it's not very good for everything else. So that's the demolding of this. It's been a while because it's it's been a while. I haven't actually focused on this for a little bit. Focus on other things. But uh, yes. Finished demolding everything, which is great. So that's that's everything. This one has a uh, slightly different color, well, sort of the same color scheme, but a bit more thing that has secrets on it too. But, uh, yes. And all of this was, uh, if you're wondering, was made with the J Diction Resin. Not sponsored. Or anything like that, but and I got it at the recent sale. And I can't remember. Did I make a video opening video of that? I don't know if I did and I didn't upload it yet or made it yet. It'll be in this video somewhere, I think. Maybe. In this regard, if I have no idea what I'm talking about. Uh -huh. As that I do. <laughs> and now I'm rambling, so thank you for watching. Like, subscribe for more. Ring the bell for notifications. Over and out.